Definitely. Look, I've got to tell you, this is one of those mornings where you see the Dow futures up, and then you read the research. Everything's horrendous. You got people saying, listen, here's 27 internet stocks should be down. Here's 22 semiconductor stocks should be down. The long knives are out for almost everyone. Bitcoin, just like, you know, we, no, you know, we can't prop it up anymore. The, but the bed bath was benchmark. It may be the new brass standard. It was uh, down, you know, bed bath and beyond had uh, same short sales down 27%. Now, I will say this. There are very few companies in retail that have ever recovered down 27%, that have made it. And that's something you have to watch. I know they have a new CEO, uh, Sugo, and I do wish her the best of luck, but this is, it's almost never, you're never able to, almost never able to come back from that worst, that kind of same store yeah. sales. Uh, as Jim said, uh, comps were uh, very low, big miss, revenue light. Gove says sharp fluctuations in purchasing patterns led to dislocations in sales and inventory. You look at at least the Q1 uh, revision to consumption, Jim. Uh, we were at 3.1. We went to 1.8. This sort of says a lot. How could we be so wrong? These, uh, look, I, I, I got to tell you, I, I know that, that I, re I really like Mester, and I've, I've called for 100 basis points. Things are happening faster than I thought here in terms of things falling apart. You said this yesterday. Yeah, Micron is going to report, I think, a really bad number. And uh, Micron is going to take down all the semis. Uh, because people feel that they should be the same. They're not. There are many semis that are doing very different things. But, uh, and I'm not saying that this is a, a wildfire. Uh, I am saying that there's no positive research except for maybe the banks. And even there, there's worries about credit risk. So uh, I'm, I'm not, we, we could be whistling past the graveyard. I mean, I, these are just really bad notes out today. And they're going to control. Uh, Jim's referring to a note out of uh, J.P. Morgan's uh, Doug, Doug Amuth. He cuts numbers on 26 Internet yeah. companies, Jeez. and you know them all. Airbnb, Uber, Dash, Meta, Google, Amazon, Netflix, Snap. 83% chance of recession in three years. He says all of our companies are at risk. Yes, yeah, see, when I hear that, at least we're catching up. You know, the research had all been like, you know, I'm cutting my price target too, but I'm keeping it as a buy. Now we're starting to get to the nitty-gritty, Carl, where people don't want to be associated. They want to downgrade. Now, that will be part of a bottoming process. Like, I would love to see someone downgrade all the home builders. I mean, that's what you need. You need these analysts to, you know, to put up the flag. Uh, and it's got to happen before we get a bottom. They're not going to be right. They're not going to, like, cut the, you know, they're not going to downgrade at the bottom. They ought to downgrade now. Uh, and that, the, I've got to tell you, that was smart. The semi calls were smart. Uh, Chris Stanley, whom I really like very much, City, he is saying things about Micron that basically make you say, you know, if you're along a semiconductor in the next 48 hours, good luck. Right. And I just think that these these are very powerful calls. Uh, yeah, yeah, Jim's right. City takes Micron to 85. Uh, B of A takes NVIDIA to 220. Your point is that the, the street's catching up. The street's finally catching up to negativity. Is that a, is a, a net positive? That, that's a net positive. Right. We needed to see that. Uh, it's just that it's, it's so brutal when you actually see it. But you need to see it. And when you see Bed Bath making the change at the top, now Pinterest, I don't know, because I've got Ben Silberman on tonight. There may be other reasons, but uh, you see that, and then you couple it with McCormick missing the numbers. I mean, it's a spice company. What, it's just people decided they, they don't, the spice is life, right? Spice of life. Um, that was unbelievable. Thank heavens for General, General Mills. General Mills, I knew oh, you were going to Oh, my God. It. It's like, thank heavens for Cheerios. <laughs> oh, jeez, uh, pet food. Uh, General Mills does beat by 11, uh -huh. uh, actually a nice little div hike, 6%. Uh, but you're right, McCormick cuts the guide in what is a classic defensive staple. Uh, it, it, McCormick, I have McCormick on all the time, and it is a fantastic company. But, you know, when you – everyone has supply chain. Look at that thing. Now, it's got a very high multiple, uh, so that's going to be hurt. I'm just seeing for every one positive, I've got three negative. Now, it's, I, you don't want to get ahead of that and say, well, that's how the bottom – that's why you're at the bottom – it's part of the bottoming process, but it's so painful. You know, you got the commodity stocks rolled over first. Now you're having tech. People are still hiding in finance and they're hiding in healthcare. Although healthcare, some of those stocks were down badly yesterday off of inflation. But I, I like I see the futures and I say, well, what do they know? And I'm thinking maybe they're maybe they don't know anything.